I said, is that so? And then he began to rally all the Christian bodies together. And as he rallied all of them together, and we had a kind of program in Ambuja we never had since Deeper Life began. And then we went another time again in June, and I'm telling you what happened that June. Only the person that sees will tell. Do you understand? And then, you know, I traveled recently. That's why there was no combined service. That's why the Money Bible study was repeated. When I traveled, I met somebody overseas. And that person overseas has a large ministry, connections and everything. And this person that led Deeper Life before, that is now, you know, just like, is almost like my right-hand man. If I'm not careful, I would even switch over to him. Apart from the Deeper Life person there. But I'm not doing that. Both of them, they're just following now. But... He told this fellow overseas, he said, where you are overseas, he said, Papa needs a ministry there. Papa needs, a, a, you know, the way they do everything. And then another one that led came back, another one came, another one came. And he said, call us together, we're ready for you now. <laughs> Teach us. And then one of them, one of them said, praise the Lord. One of them said, I have all this number of churches, I have in this state, in this state, in this state. They said, Pastor. Our GS, give. I said, who's your GS? <laughs> Praise the Lord. He said, I'm going to get all my members together, all my workers together, and come and teach them. And whatever we have taught them that is wrong, correct everything. We're not ready for correction. Look at what God is doing. That what was thought, praise the Lord. What was thought, we had lost. What was thought is gone. Everything is coming back. You know, if God can do that for your father in the Lord, like father, like child, like father, like daughter, everything that has gone out of your life will come back. So don't worry about anything again. You know, that's why now I'm different now. I used to, you know, when all those things happened a few years ago, we divided into regions. And then I said, we're going to have region of Asia, region of Asia. I was almost paralyzed. I couldn't take decisions. Some of the people said, no, what kind of thing is this? And some of the people led. What everything, every new thing we wanted to do, some people just, you know, they just left. We wanted to start Sunday worship. Only Bible study, Bible study, Bible study. And I said, now we're going to start Sunday worship. And I remember a brother, I don't want to mention his name now, but he just led. He said, I will not stay. And I had to make a choice. What do I do? Do I continue the Sunday worship? Or do I, you know, because of the people, do I stop the Sunday worship? I said, no, but this revelation from God, he led. But you know, about a few months again, he go. He came to me at the IBTC here and he smiled. He said, you're my daddy. He said, you need to talk to me. You need to correct me. Everything, I'm available now. Because of Sunday, Sunday worship, since... 1982 i've not seen him it's gone but now he just came back this year i said i'm available now and that's what i'm telling you that it does not matter how long ago you have lost something in your life all those things will come back on you and that's why the, that's, the, the disciples did not understand and because of that lack of understanding that's why they were sorrowful unnecessarily me i'm not sorrowful again I said, I am not so full again. Because your flowers will bloom again. Yeah. And look at this in verse, look at this in verse 32. Behold, the hour cometh. Yea, is now come that ye shall be scattered every man to his own, and ye shall leave me alone. Didn't they gather together later in the upper room? And didn't they, those 120, didn't they pray? And were not 3,000 converted in one single day? And didn't the church grow? And a lot of things then happened later. That's what Jesus was looking at. That's why I was not sorrowful. You will not be sorrowful. And yet I'm not alone because the Father is with me. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. And because he has overcome, you too, you have overcome. Yeah. Romans chapter 8, verse 37. Romans chapter 8, we're looking at verse 37. Romans 
chapter 8, we're looking at verse 37. It says, Nay, in all, all these things, how many things? Everything that is happening, all these things, we are more than conquerors through Him that loved us. He loves you, you will not be sorrowful forever. In Philippians chapter 4, Philippians chapter 4, it says in Philippians chapter 4, I'm reading from verse 4, Rejoice in the Lord, how often? Always. And again I say, rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is certain. Be careful for nothing. Be worried about nothing. Fret about nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, Whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, what? Think on these things. Think on the right thing. Don't think on the wrong thing. And your joy will overflow. In First John chapter 2, First John chapter 2, reading from verse 13, First John chapter 2 verse 13, it says in verse 13, I write unto you fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. You have overcome. Amen. Look at chapter 4 verse 4. Chapter 4 verse 4. Ye have, ye have got little children and have overcome them. Have overcome them. Don't look at the past. Look at the future. Bury the past. And let the future be manifest. It will be. Ye of God, little children, and overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. This morning or this day, I want to reassure you once again. That Jesus said, receive consolation. Receive comfort. And receive assurance that everything that has gone, everything will come back again. And that your life will come anew, afresh once again. And that every good thing you desire, the Lord will fulfill in your life in Jesus' name. Yeah. And the work the Lord has committed into your hand, this work will prosper. Yeah. Your ministry will prosper. Yeah. And this, our church, Deeper Life Bible Church, it will continue to grow and to grow. Yeah. And whatever it is, as a church, as a whole church, not me now as a pastor alone, and not we as just a district alone. We as a church, not just in Lagos headquarters alone. We as a church in the whole of the nation. And the whole of this continent and beyond. Whatever this church has lost will come back again. Yeah. And the desires of everyone will be fulfilled in Jesus name. Yeah. You know somebody was talking to me yesterday. And he said, Pastor, not a member of the church in Lagos. But a member of the church in another place. And I was saying, Pastor, we have a need in our life. A need in our life. And, uh, you know, our local church did, and they began to discuss the need. I said, hey, don't worry about that. The Lord has taken care of that already. Uh, you know, I, the joy I have. Somebody was, uh, you know, in the hospital during the week and he phoned another person in deeper life and uh, said, hey, can I get in touch with the GS so he can pray for me? And I, the fellow called me. I said, yes, tell, tell him. I didn't ask who is this person. And when the fellow phoned and I, I said, uh, can you tell me what's your name? And he told me the name. I said, are you a member of uh, Deeper Life? He said, I was a member of Deeper Life. But uh, I, I was, then he mentioned his position. It was, you know, very high. But I didn't know him. I didn't remember him. And he said, but I left some times ago and I have no ministry now. But I just said, uh, I have a need and you are still my father and I'm, I need prayer. I said, go ahead, my brother. I, I'll pray for you. You are still my son. You, everybody just coming back and coming back. Well, what else are we looking for? That's why when I came to the, sometimes when you see me and you see how I sing and I may wave my hand, I may smile, I may stand erect. I see I want to be taller. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and uh, so, and you say, hey, what's happening to the pastor today? The pastor looks extra happy today. You are right. I'm excited today. Yeah. But something good, something good is happening. Yeah. And I know that if it is happening to me, it is happening to you. Yeah. 
Why don't you rise up and we're going to get it back. Get it back. Get it back. Everything you have lost. Don't be sorrowful again. God's glory is shining upon you. And God said, God's abundance is upon your life. A little while, you will not see that thing. But a little while, you see that thing again. And your joy will come back and your joy will never be taken away from you. Open your heart to the Lord and just say, Lord, here I am. Here I am. Put some extra joy in my life. Some extra happiness in my life. Some extra excitement in my life. Some extra enthusiasm in my life. Wipe your tears. You are a child of the King. Wipe away your sorrows. You are a child of the King. Your joy has come. The pleasure of the Lord will be fulfilled in your life. The glory of the Lord will come upon your life. It's coming back. It's coming back. It's coming back. Your flowers will bloom again. Is it withered now? Is it dried up now? The fountain of joy. The fountain of happiness. The fountain of provision. The business will bloom again. The child will come back again. That job will come back again. The family will be reunited again. Something good. Something great. Something glorious. Come into your life. Come into your life. Come in. Come in. Come into your life. No weeping again. No crying again. No sorrow again. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. That proclamation upon your life, receive it. That prophecy of life, it's calm. It's calm. It's calm. It's calm. It's calm. Receive it. Your life will come and need. Your family will come and need. There's a restoration in your life right now. A refreshing in your life right now. Resurrection in your life right now. The moment of sorrow is gone. And the time of pleasure, the time of gain, the time of rejoicing, and the time of excitement has come. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. You'll never be the same again. The future is brighter than the past. And the glory of the latter house, the glory of the latter house, shall be greater and higher, brighter than the former. Something new, something fresh, something mighty, something great is coming. It has come already. Rejoice 
and don't be afraid of anybody taking this new joy away. Your sorrow you will not remember anymore. And your joy and your joy and your joy no man take it from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. And the believers who believe there's a brighter future say, yeah. Do you accept this? Do you receive it? Do you know that something great is coming in your life? Do you believe that your tears are wiped away? Your sorrow is taken away? Do you believe that the moment of joy is starting at this very moment for you? Raise up your hand. We are going to pray. Lord, I receive. Lord, I receive. Lord, I receive. Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for what you have heard. We thank you for what you have done. We thank you for the pronouncement upon our lives. Lord, we pray for every brother, for every son, every sister, every child, every girl, every boy. Lord, we pray all that they have lost, everything will come back. We pray, Lord, for every family, any sin, any family he has lost, everything will come back in Jesus' name. Every husband that has lost a wife, Lord, I pray that wife in a new form will come back in Jesus' name. And every wife that has lost an husband, Lord, I pray for every, every wife that husband will come back in a new form in Jesus' name. Everyone that has lost a job, lost a house, lost a property, whatever it is, lost a child. Oh Lord, I pray everything will come back in your form in Jesus' name. And Lord, the whole church, the whole church, whatever it is, the glory, the outreach, the power, the fruitfulness, the excitement, the fellowship, and the joy, the provision, whatever it is. In every part of the church, whatever we have lost, everything will come back in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for every brother, every sister here, everyone here present today, and everyone that will hear this message afterwards. Lord, I pray every sin that they have seen gone away, you'll see it coming back again.